Hello, hello, family. This is me, Lisa Trenton Inchbound. And it's been a really long time since I did a video for you guys. Um, we've been busy, as always. Gatekeepers have had to step it up a whole lot. Um, there's a lot of the, the bombardment and the barrage and the constant influx and constant um, gateways that are wide open now. They just keep getting wider and wider and wider. Bigger, bigger, and bigger, and, and more photonic light, more, more plasma um, energy, more um, light codes, more um, higher consciousness activating DNA um, is, is flooding constantly now. So, um, in order to acclimate, in order to integrate, in order to hold these encodements within our form, in order to open the gateways, um, and all of these things that we do and deliver the information that's important for everybody else too, it, it takes a lot on our part. So um, I write for you guys when I can. I disappear when I have to do a whole lot of linear work and push through a lot of stuff because you're going to find that you can't function the way you did before. And, and so learning to function in all new ways is a part of this process as well. So I love you guys. Let's uh, talk about a few things that are going to be really important. Um, there's no way for me to touch on everything. Um, so, but this morning when I woke up, I, I saw several things that, that are important for those who may not quite understand what's going on in the world. Um, the immensity of these influx, influxes that are occurring in each person's body. Okay, and this is key. These are DNA rewrites. These are, these are DNA recodings. These recode your DNA. These activate your higher consciousness DNA. These change your genetic makeup. These change um, everything in your body to function and work non-linearly, vibrationally, quantum. So, which means transitioning from a linear reality, a linear one that, that used to be dictated by our heads. Um, it means learning one to open up to feel and all that stuff that was buried deep inside and deeper than anybody knows. The ego goes so deep, okay? Um, which is a lot of what's going down, okay? So when I, write, when I talk to you guys, when I write for you guys, this is not stuff that's going on technically in my life. This is stuff where I observe collectives and, and I see what will assist the most um, with entire collectives going through certain experiences in their world. Okay, each dimension has a different reality. Um, there are different timelines. There are alternate realities. They're all vibrational and, and we each can shift to a completely different timeline. Anytime we desire, but it does mean shifting our own vibration to a higher consciousness one, okay? Shifting our own vibration, opening our heart more, um, and, and, and transforming, transcending, um, re-creating re a whole new program. Because the, the energies, these, these atomic, on an, on an atomic level, level, in each person's body, the are, are going to exacerbate emotions, exacerbate judgments. They're going to exacerbate and amplify everything at an astronomical rate, literally. Okay, if you've got anything inside of you that is not resolved and, and where you don't function from a place of unity consciousness love, it's going to come up in your physical reality for you to see and work through inside of you and then figure out how to come from a different place, how to come from your highest consciousness place without any ego, without any arrogance, without any pointing the finger or making the other person look wrong, okay? Because we're, we're on a collective level, um, and, and I had to go through this many times myself, okay? Um, narcissism is huge because every person has this inside of them. Okay, so it's a, if it's appearing in your world, it's not that the other person um, is bad, if you will, 
Um, it's that you hold the program inside of your body and you have to clear that program so you don't keep calling forth those realities and experiences for you. Your experience is to teach you. Your experience is to show you. Your experience is an opportunity for you to clear that entire matrix programming, that entire unconscious program, that conditioning, whatever words you want to use, they're all true, okay? From inside of you. Hmm. Gaia has moved collectives into Akashic clearings right now. Well, the Akashic for each person clears through intense emotional outbursts, if you will, okay? So, so these atomic activations, these new codes, these higher consciousness activations, the immense amount of radioactivity activating inside of each person through the activation of cosmic rays that are off the charts on a daily basis right now are going straight to any separation you hold straight to breaking down the constructs of that entire reality where it was held in your cells your body will go weak Photonic light makes your body weak so that that cellular structure can break down. These are targeting on purpose the immune system, targeting because the immune system is your defense system, okay? And you have a, your whole body becomes a stargate system and your field becomes a part of that stargate system as well. Every organ in your body is a part of this. So after physical body ascension, then your, your Merkaba will collapse and re- structured geometrically into a stargate system and you have to build and, and, and integrate all of these codes in order for all of this to constantly um, construct itself. It's your new foundations for your new realities. It's where you're putting yourself out there. It, it's where you're contributing. It's where you're making a difference. And But for a while, and a lot of people are in this very beautiful place, when, when, when we first rebirth ourselves as, as children, um, and playing and happy and joy and just let go of all the cares in the world. I'm seeing a lot of collectives of people. They're like, I'm done with this. I'm ready to get out of here and just go live my life somewhere else. Well, that's going to be a big part of this process for many people because there was so much that was anchoring each person to that, that those lower dimensions. I have to use words here to describe. Okay. So let go of the judgment about everything and don't get hung up on the words. Because humans love to do that, okay? So, um, look at the bigger picture. Look at um, yourself. What you've got going on inside of you, where, you're, where you are or are not coming from your very purest place of love inside of you, your very purest place of respect, integrity, and honor, and kindness, and compassion. Um, this, is, this is going to show you what you need to see. These are harmonizing frequencies constantly, okay? These are to harmonize. These are to clear the distortions inside of each person. Um, atomic means we're going nuclear inside, okay? And, and so when you go nuclear inside, um, the experience all along the way will be different because once you've cleared all of the emotions, you don't really have an emotional response to that. It's just nuclear cells. And your cells go atomic and you're emitting a ridiculous amount of plasma um, on a cellular level. And there are times that you physically cannot function. You will have to be okay with that. If you're not, you're going to struggle and suffer through this. Okay? I learned a long time ago, when we start these processes, let everything go. I had to get okay with other people getting upset. Okay? I had to get okay with people not understanding. That's theirs, okay? I understand what I'm here to be and do and my contribution and what's important and when I need to go offline and when I need to, to stay in the bed and upgrade. I still work, okay? I still do. I still accomplish just at a different rate and I have to cut a lot of stuff out, okay? Human ego will go through all of these issues that it needs to go through in order to shift their own reality so that it will support these processes that each one needs to go to through for this because we each one of us agreed to this before we came here no one's a victim okay 
Your, your ego loves to be a victim to everything. And, and it wants to resist. And it wants to judge. And it wants to complain. Pay attention to when you complain. You've basically given your power away and to something outside of you. This is simplify your life. Simplify everything, okay? It's going to be really important that you simplify. You're not going to be able to keep up with all the old stuff. And where you focus your energy, it's either going to support or it's going to deplete. Um, I have a ton of writings that I, I still need to put out for people, but there's only so many billion hours in a day for us to accomplish, right? Okay, so. Heightened emotions are a part of an Akashic clearing for each person clearing the, their Akash. Okay? Heightened emotions clear the timeline. So, we are going through photonic light exacerbates. Photonic light bends and distorts on purpose because the matrix, the old programming was distorted. It has to distort so you can see it and choose not to keep participating in those realities anymore, okay? Photonic light gives you the ability to, to travel through your own consciousness into other realities. You can clear them completely. You can access them completely. But if you don't believe they exist and you can't expand your consciousness, you don't have the capability to do this. So this means elevating your consciousness, expanding your consciousness, Get your physical body's vibration up. The, the place that you surround yourself with, surround yourself with that which supports your physical body vibration. Get the vibration of your room as high as you can and you keep it there. Get your physical body. I can't say this strong enough, okay? Your physical body is already going to struggle. With the immensity of these codes coming through, your physical body is already going to require a lot of downtime. It's going to require a lot of rest. It's going to require a lot of you honoring what your body needs to clear the immensity of the old programming. These gamma rays, these, these higher cosmic rays that are, that are activating 24 hours a day are working through your physical body and your physical reality too, okay? And in order to do this, they basically have to kill off or obliterate the old programs and where they were held in your body, the nervous system, your organs, the, the immune system. All of these things have to be completely recoded and constantly upgraded to handle higher light frequencies in your body. Sorry. All right, I can't stress this strong enough. And, and I've written about the atomic codes. I've written about the DNA acceleration. I've written about this stuff. You'll have to go read the, the human aspect says, I don't want to read all that. It's too long. Well, it's an activation. Okay. Everything I write is a complete course within itself. If you're not willing to read it and activate your own higher states of consciousness, then that's totally cool. But I write these things on purpose because they're all like encoded. They give you what you need, not linearly though. They activate your quantum understanding, which isn't linear. I see a lot of people discounting magic. I see a lot of people discounting things because they need to go find the linear explanation for how that can be. Well, you're robbing yourself of your joy. Okay, stop it. This is part of the process. If something appears that appears to be magical, Go all in it. Enjoy the experience. Don't bring a linear head into this, okay? You will actually shut the entire thing down and, and, and shortchange yourself. This means letting go of the, the mind's constructs of the need to know the linear answer for things and enjoying the experience, allowing yourself the highest vibrational experience that's available to you instead of trying to control it, instead of trying to put it back into a box, instead of trying to make it something according to old belief systems that don't apply anymore. I see every day people still trying to fit what's beautiful and magnificent of new earth appearing right before them according to an old program and apply it to what they're experiencing, having no clue that it's not true. Okay, so let go 
of a lot of that stuff. Open completely up and be ready to shift into a higher consciousness reality where all of your expectation for the shoe to drop, all your expectation for things to go wrong, that's what the ego does. It expects the worst. Okay, if you're expecting the worst, that's what you're going to get. If you expect most, the most awesome, then that's what you're going to be open for, for it to come to you. I had tons, but I didn't write it down. You know how, you, you know how I roll. <laughs> okay. I, I, I got to go do a bunch of linear work, but I thought I'd stop and do this for people because there's so much going on in, in different dif dimensions and timelines and realities and all this kind of stuff. Um, what occurs in your own physical reality, this is your reality, okay? Pay attention to where you take your consciousness into a different reality and where you get caught up in that reality, where you keep believing that, where you keep bringing it into your reality. Look at your reality, see where you believe something in your reality has more power than you. See where you have a story going, where you've given your power away. See where you need to take your own power back. And this is about going inside and reconnecting with your own universe, your own higher self. This is about going inside and reconnecting, getting your own answers yourself. Drop the prejudgment. Drop, drop the narcissism, the finger point and the blame, okay? Where everybody else is wrong. Look at yourself. Elevate your consciousness. All of that will fall away if you allow it to be. Okay, if you keep trying to bring it into your reality, you're going to keep bringing it into your reality. Let it fall away. Go focus your energy on something that's productive. Go focus your energy on contributing. Go focus your energy on creating awesomeness. Go focus your energy on coming together, on unity. Because what you focus your energy on, you create in your world. Okay, there's an entirely different reality. There are entirely alternate realities available if you allow yourself the alternate realities instead of creating the same old ones over and over again there's a lot of victim mentalities floating around out there right now flying around out there there's a lot of blame there's a lot of finger pointing there's a the, and, and all of this is a part of the process of taking each person taking their power back and standing in their power and standing as love and treating each other with respect this is about the, the 2222 humanity codes that continually come through. And each time it comes through, it's a different aspect of the code. So, so just when I write about the 2222 codes, that is that aspect of that code. I've written about more of it since January 1st because it keeps coming through with a different part of the code. So 2222 is humanity codes. This is where each person finds their own humanity inside. This is where each person actually starts to care about each other again and, and, and stops adhering to the things that, that create separation within each one of us where, where we are not willing to step up and do whatever it takes, where we're not willing to come forth and, and be that loving divine essence of who we are very purely without any BS in a way, okay? This is for each person. This is how we live our life. There is a multi-dimensional higher consciousness existence where the old bs it doesn't fly it doesn't exist we don't allow it we don't participate in it we don't keep creating it in our world we come together everybody is a partner here in every capacity everybody holds their own everybody is fully responsible everybody has the capability to come together everybody has the capability to contribute it's only your programming and your beliefs that you don't all your unworthiness is coming up. All of that disempowered stuff, it's coming up. All of that, I'm giving my power away to something outside of myself, it's coming up for you to see. All of that lack of respect where you don't love and respect yourself yet, it's going to present in your world. Everywhere you compromise and allow less than the highest everything, it's going to come up in your world. This is the point so you can see it. And so that you can actually expand your own consciousness to a higher vibration. Expand your whole body. This is about bringing your body with you. Physical body ascension is you bring your body with you. It isn't something you practice for a moment and then go back to a different life. This is where everything in your life conforms.
Not really the word I like, but I'm going to use it for a moment. Adheres. This is where everything in your life is reconstructed all through new energies. Okay? Love, unity, respect, integrity, kindness, compassion, not pity. Okay? You can understand where somebody's coming from, but you don't need to try to save them or fix them. You can see that, that the experiences they chose to teach them to get their heart open, to dissolve their ego, to brief, bring those defense mechanisms down, to bring down the harshness, to bring down the insistence uh, of an old reality. All of this, the whole body will deplete to break all of this down. It's in your body, okay? Until all that harshness, until all that greed, until all that self-preservation, until all of that me first, it, energy is cleared. Now, we have to flip it for a while and we have to come first for a while because we put everybody else first, okay? So I'm not talking about that part of the process because that's very important for each person all along the way, but then we shift out of that place too. We don't stay there forever. Um... We always come first. We don't ever compromise ever again, but we can come first and still treat everybody with love and respect and kindness while holding them accountable too. We don't, we don't take on their responsibilities. We give responsibility back and say, this is your responsibility. Now take responsibility for it. Okay. You're going to have to challenge yourself in ways you've never had to challenge yourself. Higher light Frequencies, they challenge your human in every capacity on a physical level with your physical body, with your beliefs of what's going on in your physical body. Let go of all of the conditions. Let go of all of the identities. Let go of all of those things that you keep applying to what's going on with your body because old unconscious earth and new earth, completely different realities. And what this one believes what this reality says is true, this reality is the opposite. It isn't true anymore. So you actually have to want to see a different reality. You have to want to support your body naturally, organically. Support your body so it can raise its vibration. Your body can't keep suppressing, suppressing, and you packing things back into it and shutting down. It's going to blow, okay? It, it, it's going to start screaming loudly. It's going to start speaking back. It's going to start saying, no, not anymore. All of those emotions are held in your, in, in your uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The word's neural receptors. But, but basically, the, the, your neural pathways are going to start opening up as photonic light runs through them. Your, 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 um, every point in your body will we'll hold emotional stuff that will actually create a, a physical pain. Um, and for those who, who suppress a lot, it, it's an immense amount of pain, okay? The body's trying to release. The body's in a cellular cleansing, a purification process. And if we're not supporting it and loving it and respecting it, breathing, um, the 2222 codes um, went straight for the heart and the lungs. They go straight for the blood. They st go straight for the breath of life. They go straight for the breath of creation. They go straight for all of these things. And, and the body has to learn how to breathe all over again and how to, um, because, let's see. I write about this. Go read the writings. Only because it's too much for me to look at right now and explain and break the entire thing down. We'd be here forever. Um, but basically, the body has to learn how to produce its own oxygen um, the body becomes self-sustaining when you when you live when your body functions on light um, now just because we function on light doesn't mean we don't eat food we eat a ridiculous amount of food and all kinds of food because we're supporting the body too we go through phases crystalline that wants sugar um, really clean dark chocolate um, we eat junk food after we've purified our body i had to do it for a year and a half get my body clean get my body's vibration up so it could physically ascend hold my state of consciousness as an ascended consciousness and then it took another year year and a half once i did it intentionally this is not an overnight process it takes it is what we call the separation of time and it's held in the body template and as you dissolve your own separation time goes and, and so it will go in increments for a while. It'll go forwards, backwards, get, get stretched, shorten, 
um, quantum jump, mean you, um, jumping, major collapsing um, time at a ridiculous rate. Time ceases to exist. You function from everything is from the present moment, from zero point field, from this moment right here. And, and, and nothing gets created that you are intentionally creating from a place of love, that you're not intentionally creating for humanity. Um, you will dedicate your entire existence to humanity, but in different ways. So each person chose to do this a different way, but the, we have an entire network um, that where each is connected, where everything we do is to support higher consciousness humanity here. Higher consciousness humanity, this is the time we are in, is moving humanity on a collective level constantly into a higher timeline out of the old. Each person is going to experience this exactly as on a soul level they chose. Each human is not going to like this one bit. They're going to fight it with everything that they've got. You will have to decide whether you're going to let your human run the show or whether you're going to reconnect inside, expand your consciousness, and become your own higher self. You get to choose which aspect is going to be in charge, if you will. If your higher self is in charge, you surrender your ego. If your higher self is in charge, your ego doesn't come into play. You see your ego, but you deal with your ego. And you dissolve your ego. You resolve it back inside of you. You come from your highest place every time. You don't play in the lack of integrity. You don't. And this is where the human gets tripped up is because your money, your job, your, your family, your friends, human word, all of these things, all this has to align too. Okay? You don't get to spend your money with those who lack integrity. You don't get to give your money. You don't get to receive money where there's integrity lacked. I mean, your entire reality has to realign. Everything in your life has to realign. Your business has to re be realigned through higher consciousness. Not higher, highest. We've passed higher. We've gone into highest now, okay? Every aspect of your life has to be recalibrated. Every aspect of your life has to be realigned. Everything has to be realigned on a soul level. From the purest place inside of you and every person in your reality, every exchange, everything you do has to align with this too. Okay? This is your responsibility. This is what you agreed to. This is part of mastery. The physical and from inside of you. Okay? This is vibrational. This is through love. This is through your own unity inside of you. And if you are surrounding yourself or surrounded with a bunch of unconscious people, they represent your unconscious aspect of you. So then you have to look at, because there's been a lot been observing, you know, and we all do this. I did it too, okay? I don't say anything that I haven't experienced myself, okay? That's how we learn. Experience teaches us. The entire human experience was a teaching and a proving ground. Okay, and, and, and most don't understand that every physical reality, you're going to be proving yourself. You're going to be proving whether you can come from that highest place inside of you or whether you're going to go human again. And if you go human and you go unconscious, then basically you, in one aspect, you flunk the test. Okay, these are gateways. These are passageways where you're proving that you can come from your highest consciousness place every time and not go unconscious again. And I have a phone call, so I guess I will <laughs> stop. All right, I love you guys. Have an amazing everything. I'll come back and do some more videos. Check yourself. Look at yourself. Honor your body. It's really, really, really important. And, and there's tons of information. But get ready because you ain't saying nothing yet. Okay? None of us have. Higher and higher and higher we go. Vibrationally, higher and higher, more powerfully, stronger. It's going to continue. It's not going to let up. So all of those saying, when is this going to stop? It's not. Okay. So look at where you need to simplify your life. Look at where you need to shift vibrationally within yourself. Look at where you have ego resistance going on. Look at where you are not ready yet and shift yourself. Open your heart. If you will open your heart, your body will relax, your mind will relax, and you can shift. And you can be open to an alternate reality. You can be open to an alternate explanation. You can be open to alternatives. Okay, and this is what this, an alternate reality is an alternative to your current reality. Okay, and everything will be aligned with love, natural, nature. 
if and one of the things lately is if you can't get out in nature go get nature and bring it inside go get you some plants do whatever you've got to take to get your vibration as high as you can and you keep it there okay I love you. I'm going to go check and see what that was and get to work because I have a bunch of stuff to do. I will be putting out more videos as soon as I can. And have an amazing everything and observe you. Okay? It's time to come together, peeps. You're going to have to work through your own stuff so everybody can come together because the old reality is yours. The new reality is too. Mahalo.